Hi everyone, it's Van Salman here from smallonlinebusinessopportunity.com and today I wanted to show you a really quick and nifty way that I can change a page to a post and vice versa, changing a post to a page. And when I first started working online, I got quite confused by what was pages and what was posts. And I've seen this happening quite a lot with other people as well. So I've heard a lot of people say, well it's easy, you just go and you copy your whole page you create a post and you paste it in there and then you publish it and then you go back and you delete your page. But this really is long-winded and if, like me, I got so excited starting my blog that I had like 15 um, blog posts written that were supposed to be posts but I'd actually published them as pages. Now that works out to quite a bit of effort to go and, you know, manually go and, and copy and change it. So, um... I researched a little bit and I came across a really cool nifty way to do it. So the first thing you do is on your WordPress website you just click on plugins on the left and then you click on add new and then you type into your search post type switcher. And it should come up as the first one on the left here, uh, post type switcher. It's got 80,000 plus active installs and it's got 131 uh, ratings and it's got a four and a half star rating. And you can see here it's active on my website because I've already installed it. Um, if you look at another plugin here, like you'll see it says install now. That's what it will say over here where for me it says active. So you just click on install now and then after that you click on activate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into pages and I'm just going to explain to you quickly a page is a static piece of content. So it's going to be your about me, your affiliate disclosure, your privacy page, maybe your home page. Um, there's you know lots of different things that it could be but blog posts is what you're mainly going to be writing especially if you're a blogger. Most of your content is going to be blog posts. So if you're going to write for example five ways how to get traffic to your website or ten awesome websites to get free images um, that sort of thing. That is all going to be blog posts and that is up here on the left hand side where it says posts. So that's how you're going to publish that. But if you've made the mistake like I did, so I'm going to go for example into my affiliate disclosure which is a page and say for example this piece of content I want to make it into a post. Um, I would go on the right hand side over here and where your little publish button is over here, at the bottom of all these items you're going to see it says post type and it says page you click on edit and you're going to change this to a post from the drop down menu and then you're going to say OK and you're going to click on update. You're going to look on the left here and you're going to see I'm going to move from pages to posts. OK, so now this is a post. If we go back into pages, you can see now my affiliate disclosure page is not showing over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it now from a post to a page again. I'm just going to search for it for affiliate disclosure. Here we go. So I'm going to open this up now. And I'm going to make this back into a page. So here again, I'm going to go back to the right hand side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing where it says post type. It says post. I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to just choose page from the drop down menu. I'm going to choose OK and I'm going to click update. And it's now put it back to a page. You'll see on the left hand side here, it's going to move to pages. There we go. So I don't know about you, but I find this a lot easier and a lot more user friendly to do rather than, um, you know, copying and pasting and deleting and all of that. I hope you found this um, useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.